Knowing how to raise your own queens is something that's beneficial to any beekeeper, so I'm going to show you how I graft queens and raise them in the process. Today I'm just going to be getting the cell starter ready, and tomorrow is actually when I'll be doing the grafting. I start out with just a screen box like this that I put a sponge that's soaked with water so the bees can have water to drink. The screen so they get plenty of ventilation. I'll put a nuke box on here with frames of bees and honey and pollen and I'll leave them queenless for 24 hours and tomorrow I'll give them the grafts and they'll raise the queens. Now I found the frame with the queen and I set it off to the side so I don't shake her into the cell starter. Now to stalk the cell starter, I've got several frames of bees. I'm just going to shake the bees in. And I've got a couple frames with honey and pollen for the bees to keep them over till tomorrow. I'm also going to stick my grafting frame in the cell starter tonight. Even though there's no eggs in the cups, just leaving it overnight, the bees can polish out the cups and you get better acceptance the next day. Now even though I've shaken the bees off several frames of brood from the big hive, there's enough foragers coming back and the weather's nice enough that they'll be able to still cover all the brood that's in there. So tomorrow I'll, come, I'll grab from a hive I want to raise queens from uh, into the frame in this and we'll let these bees draw out the cells. Now this box is entirely enclosed, the bees cannot get out. For 24 hours they're going to be looking around wishing they had brood to feed. Their glands are going to be full of the royal jelly to give the cells. So when we give them grafts tomorrow, they'll be able to fill up those cups almost immediately with plenty of royal jelly. When I select a hive to graft from, this is the kind of brood pattern I like to see. You know, the queen's got it filled out nice, solid. There's a little bit of drone brood there that she hasn't messed with a whole lot right there because it's an old comb, but this is a real nice frame of brood. This is what I want to see in all the hives. Now this is a frame of larva from the queen I want to grab from. Now this frame you don't want to shake it to dislodge the bees you can grab from it. You want to take a brush and just gently flick the bees off. That way you don't dislodge the larva in the bottom of the cell. They stay where they're supposed to and they're easy to graft that way. The bees have the cups all polished up, so I'm ready to graft larvae into these. The tool I enjoy using a lot is the JZBZ tool. I'll position it pointing straight down. You can see it's got a tiny little hook on the end of it. But 
I get a, the cell where the larva where it's looking like a C. And then I just drop the hook down and pick it straight up. So I just drop it down in, hook, and lift out. This works really good for me. I also use the German grafting tool now and then. It's been real easy for me to master. A lot of people use the Chinese grafting tool. It's got a little plastic piece that you just, just slip it in the cell and it'll slide under the larva. Then when you bring it, you go to set it in a cup. You just have a plunger that pushes the larva off in the bottom of the cup. This I haven't had as much luck with as using the JZBZ tool or the grafting tool. It's all a matter of personal preference. You can get any of them to work. Now I've grafted larva into all the cups. Uh, I'll put this in the self starter and in 24 hours they should have filled up a lot of the cups with royal jelly and be drawing out queen cells. Now I did get some more water on the sponge too to make sure they can got plenty of water. The grafted larvae have been our cell starter for 24 hours. The bees have got them started. What we're going to do now is go through the box, find the queen, get her in the bottom box, and we're going to try to make sure she's got some frames of comb that are either empty or a sealed brood that's going to be emerging real soon. We'll put a queen excluder above that to keep her below, and then we'll return the frames with the grafted larvae and bees to the box above that, and they will finish them out on this hive here. This is the kind of frame we want in the bottom box, or one completely empty. That way the brood will emerge soon and the queen will have plenty of space to lay. Frames with the open larva will move above the excluder since they take longer to develop. Right there's our queen, so we'll keep her in the bottom box. I'll also add a couple combs that are empty just to make sure the queen has plenty of space to lay. Now this is what's known as a queen right cell finisher because we do have a laying queen. So to make sure the queen can't get up and tear down the queen cells we've grafted, I'm going to put a queen excluder on the box. Now I've got frames removed from this box. Now we're going to take the bees that's in the cell starter and the grafts and we're going to transfer them over to that box. As you can see the bees have started drawing out wax on the cups that they've accepted. So, we'll put this in the queen ray cell finisher and let them finish it out. Now I'm also going to add a frame of just wax foundation. A lot of times, if you put fully drawn combs in there with the cells as they're finishing them out, they'll draw a lot of webbing in between the cells. If you give them a frame of foundation to work on to put the extra wax they're producing, it keeps the uh, cells nice and keeps the bees from gumming them all together. Now I'll tell you a little tip that's probably the most important thing you can do right now. Always remember a well-fed queen when it's developing even if it's of questionable genetics just an everyday queen if it's well-fed it will outproduce a real high pedigreed queen of superior genetics if she's underfed while she's in development. So while they're developing making sure they're fed good is the most important thing you can do. So I'm gonna give them some syrup. We grafted yesterday, so 10 days from the graft, which is 9 days from today, we'll be able to come back and harvest the cells and use them. It'll be a day before they'd be ready to emerge. Uh, I'll close up the hive now. I may come back a couple times, just feed them a little more. But other than that, we'll let the bees do their thing. We're at day 10 after doing the graft, so we're going to pull the cells out now. Now the easy way to get the bees off of the cell builder frame is just to lay it over the 
hive like that and then smoke them down. You don't want to shake the bees off because that can damage the cells. A few remaining bees I'll just brush off. Now we've got some nice queen cells to use.